So we have these two points, and if we weren't told it was exponential, we wouldn't know what to do with them, because there's, there's an infinite amount of different types of graphs that can go through these two points, uh, but it's an exponential function. So the, whoop, sorry, it's the basic form of an exponential function, the letters might be different, but it should look always something like this. There's some starting amount, when x is 0, that's what you get for a. There's some exponential rate that's getting raised to your variable's power. So like in y equals mx plus b, that's similar. This is like your b, and this is like your m. Okay, but it'll make more sense when we do an example here. Um, we can plug in 2 in for x and negative 32 in for y. Oh, sorry, uh, 2 in for x. So. And then we're stuck, right? We can't solve. There's two different variables. So we can do that again by plugging in negative 64 in for y and 3 in for x. And then now we have a system of equations we could use to solve. We could get a by itself really easy in this equation. Just divide b squared from both sides. So you get a is negative 32 divided by b squared. So you can plug that into this equation over here, okay? So negative 64 equals negative 32 over b squared times b to the third. Right? And so this b to the third is like an exponent. And, uh, sorry, not exponent. It's in the numerator. You could rewrite it up here because they're multiplying. And b to the third divided by b to the second just gives you b. So to finish getting b by itself, divide negative 32 from both sides. So we get b equals 2. So we know that this number on the inside should be 2. Uh, that rules this one out. That rules this one out. Rules this one out. Rules this one out. So b has got to be 2. <coughs> I'm trying to think if there's another way of doing that. Because uh, you could plug 2 back in into either one of these uh, two starting equations we made and solve for a. So if we do that and the one I just enshrined over there. Uh, 2 squared is 4, so divide by 4 from both sides, we get negative 8. I think that's the only way to do it. But. Which function contains these points? <clears throat> you can find out by just plugging in the points into each function. And if there's an easier way, I don't know. But if we plug in 1 in for x into this function, 8 to the first is 1, uh, sorry, 8 to the first is 8. 8 times 1 fourth is 2, so we know it's not going to be that one. If even one point doesn't work, scratch it out. <clears throat> so if we plug in 1 over here, one, uh, one fourth of the first power is 1 fourth. 1 fourth times 400 is 100. So this one works out so far. It makes it to the next round. If you plug in 1 in here, 1 fourth of the first is 1 fourth. 1 fourth times 100 is 25. That doesn't match up, so this is out. If we plug in 1 here, we expect to get out 100. But if you do, you get out 200, so that's not right. Same thing for here. Okay, by process elimination, we know this has to be right because we plugged in 1 into all of them, we were supposed to get out 100.